My name is Joe Brown, a.k.a. Black Phoenix, and I am an independent welder from Arkansas. And I wanted to talk to you about, just for a second, about me being from Arkansas, me being a hog, a Razorback. I was born in Little Rock, Arkansas, so I was born um, a Razorback by default, is what I would say. I didn't have no choice. I was born into the state. Uh, later, I got my hog on, which is why I came up with this. And it had nothing to do about the state or the university. It actually was just me uh, growing into who I am and realizing that I was a hog, you know, anyway, just where, where I was raised in southeast Arkansas. And in order for me to survive the things I have survived coming from there, I had to get my hog on, meaning I had to um, put actions behind my words. I had to find my own way. So, um... It wasn't no one that fed me, a, a spool fed me to get to the level that I'm on. I had to actually go out there and hit my head and learn things the hard way in order to get to where I'm at. So it had nothing to do with the Razorback. So I like to show this because it had nothing to do with this. And this is just a souvenir that I got. I've been having for a while. And it had nothing to do with that. But I wanted to create something for us. Uh, something for African Americans who actually had to get it hard. Um, had to get it uh, out the mud from where we're from, you know, we're from a muddy, uh, the muddy waters is what we call it, and I wanted to do something to represent us as a people, and to help us um, gain our independence and find our own movement, because we tend to gravitate to other people's movements, because that's all we know, you know, we rather represent theirs, because it was fully established, and we feel like all they established, they've been around since uh, 1870 something and whatnot, and so we need to follow this movement besides of investing in ourselves and creating our own movement that's pretty much what i did with hog on i just created my own movement and uh it stands for honoring our generation on a middle nature meaning we like to honor things that we do with our hands we builders we're creators we're fabricators we're engineers um we come up with things that later people will say like wow how did they do that you know um i seen an episode the other day about king tut and how amazed they was once they found him and digged out a lot of those uh, artifacts that was down there that the Egyptians had put into place to live forever. And to me personally, I feel like that same royal blood is in me and I want to live to be remembered by the examples that I make. So I wanted to start my own movement, my own brand, my own logo. And that's why I came up with uh, Hog On. And like I said, it had nothing to do with the college, but I am from the state. And uh, I used to watch sports. I used to be heavy into it. I'm not anymore, um, but to each his own. But I wanted to say that I'm a welder from Arkansas. And Arkansas did not give me um, my most pay. You know, I started there. That's where I gained the trade from. I actually got my trade from prison out of a Verna Unit Votech uh, educational system um, that allowed me to become a combination of welder in about 14 months was the program and I utilized that to take me to a next level but I can't say that Arkansas made me because Arkansas didn't make me I just got my start um, I was in prison and I took advantage of the situation that I was in actually if I would say anything I would say uh, my state put me in the situation that I was in and just so happened I just made the best out of it and utilized utilized the time that I was doing to actually get out and start something and it didn't start overnight you know what I mean it took a while for things to get to this level and for me to get to the next level that I'm about to get on it's going to take a while so I understand that but you have to start somewhere and that's why I started with hog on because I wanted to lead by example so if you would go back on your archives and just put in black phoenix independent welder hog on welding imagine your container and you'll see all type of work that I have put down uh, to represent the movement that I've been on. You know, and I did it just organically to keep an archive on um, my growth. And that way later my kids can say, man, my daddy started here and he ended up there. And that's actually literally why I started it. And I wanted, like I say, I wanted to do something of our own. And now that I've been in it for a while. I realize I have a gift as far as being a teacher and helping others uh, develop their skills. So that's something that I'm working on uh, actually now is to start uh, tutoring, uh, mentoring, um, starting up a school, a program where I can help people independently. It's not going to be a credited school where you got to get grants and loans and this and this. This is all independently, you know what I mean? So I want to 
I would like to have those who want to invest in themselves. Not a school. I'm not trying to get you in debt or no loan. You know, some things we can do if we just sit little money to the side. And we'll come up with a program with inside the program to help those that want to get in it. But it's not going to be nothing to have you in debt. My goal is to have you gain a skill to get you out of debt if you already in debt and to gain some finance, uh, some financial stability. So that's my goal with Hog On with the program, with me, uh, uh, with my hashtag Weldon Hip Hop. And actually, because I'm a hip hop head, so I tag Weldon Hip Hop because I know it's a lot of people that are interested in hip hop or that like it and admire it like I do and want to want to know how to find a living in doing a hip hop 